Hey kids, one more thing. This is just a quick follow-up to the lesson six application problem uh, work in module five. And so we just finished all the work on another video. You have to check out the other video so you can see all the explanations. But because of the way that these formulas work out, you have so many different ways that you can multiply the numbers. And so I kind of stopped before explaining um, these are the the greatest area uh, that the the cube would cover for the floor space using these dimensions but you don't have to use these dimensions these are the greatest floor space if I have eight and four or four four and two but remember that as you're turning your figure many different ways the only requirement for this problem is that you have to have the volume of a certain amount so if you're using the half and you've got 32, well, can you have a figure with a one by one by 32? And the answer is yes, yes you can. So you could have, instead of having a nice boxy space, well, maybe you have to store a flagpole. So <laughs> could you store a flagpole in a shape like this? No, but could you store it in a one by one by 32 meter space? And the answer would be yes. And so then that is how you can actually get the greatest height. Okay, so the greatest height would be using different dimensions where we still get 32. So it would be like a one by one by 32, and that's your length and your width and your height. Same thing over here. Uh, this is the most height using eight as your factor, okay? But what if I wanted to use 128 and, and store something super, super tall? So yes, you can do that. You can have a one by one by 128. Same thing with the crooked line. And there you go. And no, that's not to scale, but it gives you the idea that uh, this would actually be the most height because it's a one by one by 128. And so anyway, just wanted to clarify with that, um, the greatest height is just gonna have a teeny tiny footprint on the bottom with a one by one, and then you use that total to give yourself uh, and increased height. So I do hope this helps. I hope the whole explanation helps. See the other video uh, for the lesson six application problem for all the explanations as to how and why uh, you can choose these numbers. Anyway, I hope this is helpful too. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.